Today's video is brought to you by penguins, specifically Happy Feet. Your video today is called 5-5 um, and it's all about trapezoids. At the top of your notes we're going to be naming different parts of a trapezoid, then we'll be going over two different scenarios, and then we'll be dissecting a problem. The first thing I'd like you to do is write the title and name it there. Um, then I'd like you to copy these two different trapezoids, including all the different side measurements and angle measurements. What we're going to do is label the different parts of a trapezoid. Um, every trapezoid has two legs and two bases. The legs are on the left and right side and the base are the two horizontal parallel parts. Again, here are the legs, the bases. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is where the base angles are. The base angles we're going to have to kind of draw in. The base angles are the two angles that are above the base on the very bottom. Make sure you've labeled all of the parts of the trapezoid before you move to the next slide. We're going to be going over two different scenarios involving trapezoids. You're going to need your pen or pencil for writing the given information, and you'll need a marker for marking up the conclusion. Now, this is really important for your notes, so I'm going to be looking for a different color. Um, first, I'd like you to draw this trapezoid labeled A, B, C, D. I know it's a trapezoid because only one pair of parallel sides are marked. And the given information is that the base angles are congruent. So if the base angles are congruent, as we labeled here, then what can we say? What we can say if the base angles are congruent is that this is actually an isosceles trapezoid. So like an isosceles triangle, if the base angles are congruent, then the sides are also congruent. So let's write that in there as finishing our theorem. If the base angles of a trapezoid are congruent, then AD is congruent to BC. Okay, and we do need to kind of fix that a little bit. So that segment AD is congruent to BC. Um, so that, that's really all that theorem says. If the base angles are congruent, then I can conclude that the two sides are congruent. In our second scenario, you're going to again need your pencil or pen, and then you'll need a marker to mark up the conclusion. So everything in black is the given information, and we're going to be filling in the, the conclusions. So first you should note that you're given a trapezoid, and it's a special kind of trapezoid. I know it's a trapezoid because it has the top base and the bottom base parallel, but I also notice that there are two midpoints here and that they're connected. If the two midpoints are connected, then I have the median of a trapezoid, something I'd like you to label. Now if that median is there, then that means two things. One, the median is also parallel to the two bases. So I can say that EF is parallel to AB, and I could also say that EF is parallel to DC. So that's one of the things I can conclude. If I have this scenario, one of the last things I can conclude is the relationship between the median and the two bases. Here's what it says. It says that the measurement of EF, the median, is the average of the two bases. So AB and DC added together, divided by two, is the actual measurement of the, of the median, or EF. And now at the very bottom of your page, we're going to be dissecting two different problems. And what we're going to be asking ourselves is, what's the given information? Was I given a trapezoid with congruent bases and angles? Well then, which sides of the trapezoid are congruent? Or was I given a trapezoid with a median? Then which lines are parallel? And what's the relationship between the bases and the median? So I'm going to be going through the video. I'm going to start with question one. And even though it's going to take up this whole space, I need you to know that it goes only on this left-hand side. When I go over question two, it'll also take up this whole part, but please only use the right-hand side. So here's our first problem. Question one, the directions are find x. You're given a trapezoid, so those two sides are parallel, and they're telling you that one of the legs is 5x minus 20, and another leg is 30. What was I given? A trapezoid with congruent bases, base angles, or a trapezoid with a median? In this case, the base angles are labeled as congruent. So what can I conclude? That these two sides are also congruent. That means I can set up an equation where 5x minus 20 is equal to 30. If I do my math here, if I add 20 to both sides, 
I'll get 5x equals 50, divide by 5 on both sides, being able to show that x is actually equal to 10. For question two, I'd like you to read the directions again. Um, they're asking us to find x. They're giving us a trapezoid, so I know that the top base is parallel to the very bottom base. And in this case, it's pretty obvious, as there's an extra line in the middle, that I've been given a median, especially with these congruency marks. So that means that I can conclude that the, ba uh, the median is congruent to the bases, and also that the median is the average of the two bases. That means that the median, 10, is equal to the top base plus the bottom base divided by 2. So that's 10 equals 4x plus 2. I get that by combining like terms. 4x divided by 2 is 2x. I'm going to move over here. So I get 10 equals 2x divided by 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 5.